Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Gany Coder and in this series of videos, I am solving Hacker and Python challenges. So, our today's challenge is collections.dq. Here, dq is the double ended queue. As we know, in the, sim uh, in the simple queue, we can append from the back side and we can pop from the front side. But in the double ended queue, we can do the append and pop from the both sides. Now, let's see the task. Here, we have to perform append, pop, pop left and append left methods on an empty dq called d. Let's see the input format. Now, the first line contains an integer n, means the number of operations. And the next n line contains n space separate names of methods and their values. Okay, so let's see the sample input. 6, means we have 6 different operations to do. Means first append 1, append 2, append 3. Append left 4, so it will append the 4th on the 1st, so our dq will be look like 4, 1, 2, 3. And we have to then pop, then the th uh, 3 will pop and pop left, so we will pop from the left hand side, means 4. So the remaining elements in our dqd will be 1 and 2, so we have to just print out the rest of the elements in the dq. Okay, so let's code here. First we are just going to import our dq, so from collections import dq okay now call d is equal to dq okay now as you can see here we have two kinds of operations here one with uh, a value and another with no values okay so we are just going to uh, do a for loop for the number of test cases means the number of operations we are going to perform on our dq so for it just take down our screen so you can see properly for i in range integer input okay now we are going to take the our input so i uh, let me call i and p is equals to input okay now if our input is pop or pop left then we don't have any value with that so just going to check if i and p is equals to pop then we are just going to perform d dot pop and else if if uh, INP equals to pop left okay then we are going to perform d dot pop left okay but if we have an another command means append with some value so then in, in the else section we are just going to break our input into two variables means command and then the value we want to perform it on so command is equals to input dot split okay that uh, that's why we, we will have both the command and the value now but we want our value to be an integer okay they have just entered the integers so we are just going to uh, uh, pass the string into an integer okay now if command is equals to we are going to for the append first append so we should d dot append the value okay and uh, else if means it's just, it's just else the remaining operation is just append left okay so just else d dot append left so d dot append left value okay i have made some mistake here if command equals to okay sorry equals to D, d dot append left value okay but we have to print also so after this print star d so we can just pass every element of the d and just print that out in the same line okay so let's run our code and see what we get here yeah, our sample test case zero is successful here so let's submit our code Here, our all six cases is successfully run. If you like this video, then don't forget to click like, share to your friends, and comment us down if you have any doubts or suggestions. And the link of the source code in this is in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive our latest video updates. Thank you.